Hey Aquarius, what's going on? Welcome to Sylvivan. We're going to go ahead and get your February 2022 predictions going. So we're going to see what February has in store for you um, as far as just in general, okay? What's going to happen in the month of February for you guys. So I'm so excited to get into these predictions with you. We're going to be pulling out the general vibe of the month with these cards. We're going to get the special message from our fairy friends as well as Sparks of Kindness tarot and guidance from the universe so i'm so excited let's get straight into it i really hope you guys are doing well we'll be starting off with a message from the fairies so aquarius sun moon rising venus happy birthday by the way since we are in aquarius season i wish you guys nothing but love so your special message from the fairies is going to be, set that right there, support. There's always help around. When you ask, it can be found. So you may find that the month of February, you will be needing some kind of support. Maybe you're going to be seeking some sort of help or assistance from someone. Just know that if you feel lonely or if you feel like no one is there, I feel like there will be someone who's going to be there to help you out with something. Okay, so there is support on, on its way, okay, or help, assistance. This can be financial assistance as well for some of you. I will be um, pulling out... I mean, I will be doing a money and career tarot reading for you guys very soon here. This is just going to be the overview of what February is going to look like for you guys. Oh, and I'm also going to do romance angels um, for your romantic life as well to see what, what the vibe is going to be like, all right? So let's go ahead and get an overview of what's going on for you, Aquarius, the month of February 2022. What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know about February 2022? Perfect. Devotion. So there's something that you will be dedicating your time to. Maybe you're dedicating your time to supporting someone around you. Um, but there is something that you are maybe just starting um, to devote yourself to. Maybe you have a New Year's resolution that you're sticking um, sticking through with through the month of, of January. Yeah, I feel like maybe if some of you guys are worried that you're not going to be able to reach some type of deadline or goal, I feel like you're going to be receiving support. This can even be angelic support. So you can stick to your guns on something and so you can, you know, accomplish this goal, this um, New Year's resolution, or maybe for some of you, this is just being devoted to your spirituality. Whatever it is for you, um, number 30 just reminded me of uh, being it being completed through the month of February. So that's really nice to see. Let me put that right there. Back of the deck energy is contentment. So yeah, something is going to make you feel content, happy. It's going to be um, like completed. Something's going to be completed with the number nine here. Yeah, so whatever you complete, whatever you um, set your goals, um, whatever New Year's resolution or goals you've had in these past couple weeks or months, I feel like you're going to see yourself um, following through with them, which is really lovely. So I love that, Aquarius. Keep going. I'm cheering for you. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull out. Well, since I grabbed the tarot, let's go ahead and pull out the tarot. Let's see what's coming your way for the month of February 2022. What does Aquarius need to know for February 2022? What do they need to know? The tower, okay, so there will be maybe something happening and maybe that's why you're going to be receiving the support that you need, okay? Um, maybe this is a way for spirit to test you, to see if you are going to stick through to through your goals. Like maybe there's changes around you that, you know, will be maybe almost like a distraction for you, but you're going to be receiving the support that you need, okay? So don't worry about that. So if something does happen with the tower card here, just know that there's support on its way. There's help on its way. Yeah, so something faded um, is going to happen the month of uh, February for you guys. And maybe a little bit of a shocker, a little bit of a surprise. All right, but this is just to test you. It feels like a test. It feels like to see if you're, you know, um, 
to see if you're really preparing yourself <laughs> for what's to come next because I feel like your next chapter your new cycle in life is going to be very much a fresh new start with the page of swords here so after this tower happens if this tower already happened right if something happened in between you and someone else um, I do feel like there's a change in circumstances circumstances situations that um, is going to change things so be prepared for this Aquarius because the page of swords is you but this is you preparing yourself. This is you very new, very fresh, and almost like prepared to learn something new, something different, setting yourself free, most definitely. I feel like you will be set free in some type of way, whether it's mentally, emotionally. Um, there's some type of way that you're setting yourself free this month, but this is a really beautiful, um, I'm seeing it as, as really, really, really um, freeing, so for some of you you will have maybe some type of um, epiphany happen to you yeah some epiphany some type of realization that's going to happen here with the tower and the wheel of fortune for others of you maybe this is um um you will be like maybe dealing with a scorpio sagittarius or um, Libra as well as what I'm seeing. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. Just know that um, everything that's going to happen this month will be in perfect timing. So so things that if like if some of you have lost a job recently or something has happened where, you know, you feel like it's been an unfortunate series of events, um, just know that things will get better, right? And and this is this is like a reminder from spirit that they're supporting you in the subtle realms and you know, better things are to happen for you. So don't worry. Okay. So, let's keep going. So, here is your guidance from the universe. What is Aquarius need to know <laughs> for Okay. Wow, priestess, some of you may be tarot readers, okay? Maybe this has to do with your YouTube channel or just with someone around you. It doesn't have to be with your YouTube channel. Maybe something your intuition has been telling you. Um, don't ignore your intuition the month of February. I feel like your intuition is going to be very on point, even through like the worst kind of circumstances, okay? Um, I do feel like you're being called to do something or to step up or step out of your comfort zone in some type of way. So if that's a message that you've been receiving from spirit and your intuition. Don't ignore that because you are being asked to kind of step out of your comfort zone in some type of way and like prepare. All right. For some of you, maybe you're preparing to move or you're going to be moving. It's like time to move or maybe you're going to have a fallout with someone you live or something and then you're going to move or you're going to want to move. If that's the case. I do feel like you're ready. Okay. Or you're being prepared to move. Um somewhere different yeah look at that um or mama where are you being called to journey to so this is a really beautiful card because i do feel like there's there's a lot more for you out there there's something better for you out there so wherever you're stuck in you're not meant to be where you're at i i feel like you're meant to be somewhere better somewhere bigger um this can definitely have to do with like a place that you live in physically or it can just be spiritually like um just things happening for your spiritual growth with devotion here to see if you're actually committed to your spirituality and to see if you're actually committed into um growing okay but spirit is helping you the page of swords is like um a card of assistance okay to me there will be um eyes are going to be on you in some type of way though i do feel like what happens might even put put you in the public eye in some type of way with the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower, but that's not the kind of vibe I'm really getting. I'm more getting like, um, maybe someone around you has said something or maybe someone around you the month of um, February will be kind of snooping around, checking your, your Instagram. I got your um, Instagram or your, your social media to see you know, what's happening with you, you know, maybe this is someone you had a falling out with. I do feel like this, there may be a, a change of events or a chain of events happening for you that are meant to happen in your lifetime or that you're meant to experience. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune here, I also see a lot of good luck coming your way. So if you guys have had 
some bad situations happen. Um, I do feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, something's going to be... Um, the tables are turning for you, okay? So things are going to get a lot better for you in the month of February. So don't worry too much if you haven't experienced a tower moment. It, it doesn't have to be bad. It could just be something shocking and beautiful happen to you. So for everybody, it's going to be different. And then we get Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, seeing the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Yeah, so this is definitely a divine plan, you guys. What's happening for you is happening for you, not to you. <laughs> okay? All right, so let's go ahead and, <coughs> excuse me, guys. I got a little bit of a cough. I had been sick for a little bit. I feel much better, though. So let's go ahead and pull out your romance angels. Romance life, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So, yeah, you may be having a conversation with someone. The fact that it's coming out kind of next to the tarot card, I did pull it out first. Um, it, could be, it could be a conversation, peaceful conversation. It could be an argument, right? Um... I do feel like things are going to get better, though, with the Wheel of Fortune here. Because the Wheel of Fortune can be seen as good luck. It could also be seen as Jupiter, right? Expansion. But I also see it as Mercury. So maybe Mercury retrograde is affecting you in some type of way. Romantic life for Aquarius, please. And you get forgiving and learning. So yeah, for some of you, like if you had a falling out with someone, maybe you're going to have to learn to forgive them. I do get a sense of like reminiscing. Someone's missing you. Maybe someone you had a falling out with is missing you. And they're thinking about coming back around, you know. I do feel like tables are turning for this person. Um, it's someone around you who maybe you broke up with in a romantic relationship. Someone around you is definitely missing you. Or maybe you're missing someone. Yeah. Okay. Well, your romantic life seems to be going somewhere, though. That's what I'm getting. It's like at least you're you're going somewhere. You're being set free from people around you who maybe no longer serve a purpose in your life. And you're being put in front of people who are going to help you, who are going to support you, who are going to stand by you, who are... You're being prepared. Most definitely feels like you're being prepared for something bigger and greater. I really love that. Because maybe some, some people around you were flaky. Or maybe some people around you weren't really meant to be in your life. That's something I'm getting as well. So let's go ahead and pull out your sparks of kindness. To increase our good karma, right? We always love some good karma in our lives. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we go. Make sure the first words you say each day are kind ones. This is about practicing um, positive affirmations, guys. Remember to practice those. Very important. Remember people's birthdays. Ah, uh, well, happy birthday, Aquarius, if it is your birthday. My mom is an Aquarius, so <laughs> give someone else the benefit of the doubt and help someone with heavy grocery bag, stroller, or luggage. Okay, those are all really good ways to increase your good karma, guys. But that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning into your reading. I will catch you guys next time at your other signs or just at your money and career reading, which will be up very soon, a couple days or possibly at the beginning of next week. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye for now.